All right, thanks for joining me today. It is Wednesday, December 2nd. It's also Big Idea Wednesday. We're going to talk about an idea that I'm sure you are familiar with. It is the shifting of goalposts, moving the goalposts. And there's been a lot of that happening recently. I'm going to talk about that and tell you how you can deal with someone that keeps changing the goals. Uh, But first, I'd like to remind you, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you like what I do here, hit the like button. It means a great deal to me. Let's get to 100 likes on this video. We can do it. Now, the topic today is on moving the goalposts. And I'm sure that you've heard about this. This is an informal fallacy. And to describe it, I'll describe it in a way, I'll give you a quick example that is non-political, right? Let's say there's a kid and their parent, and their parent tells them they'll take them out for ice cream when they uh, clean their room, right? So uh, the kid goes and, and cleans the room, and the parent comes in, looks, and says, oh, well, you did a nice job on the surface, but... Uh, Boy, when I get down here and look under your bed, there's some toys you pushed underneath the bed. The kid's like, ugh, that wasn't, that wasn't part of it. Okay. And they clean underneath the bed. And the parent says, oh, you did a nice job with, you know, the room and underneath the bed. But look at your closet here, you know. Your closet's unorganized. And the kid is like, the, the closet had nothing to do with this in the beginning. The parent, in this case, is shifting the goal. Each time a goal is met then it is shifted further and further away from the original goal. And that can be really frustrating when it's done to you. It is a manipulation technique, that's for sure. So let's talk about this when it deals with election fraud. That is what's happening now. I've seen a lot of this, you know, in the beginning... The first thing that we heard was that it's impossible. There's never election fraud. It doesn't exist. Get out of town, right? And then there might have been some examples. Now, with this, I'm not making any claims. I'm not making any claims about what happened in this particular election. We're just, we're talking about it. But... Let's just say that there were some inconsistencies, some things that were questionable. Then that shifted to, well, there might be some small, small instances of fraud here or there, but it's not widespread. It's not widespread. And you're like, no one claimed that it was widespread. They said that there was election fraud, and it was shown that there was election fraud. And now now you're saying not widespread, coordinated election fraud. Then once it turns out that there seems to be a great deal in a lot of different places, it seems that it might be widespread, depending on your definition of widespread, then it's like, well, look, it wouldn't change the outcome of the election. There might have been election fraud, here, there, this state, this state, this city, this city, that county. But it wouldn't have changed the outcome of the election. And it's like, that wasn't the original goal. Right? And then now it's to the point where it's like, look, Biden won, get over it. Don't question it. Biden won, get over it. And this can be very frustrating, especially if you're someone that cares more about democracy and you know, the integrity of elections than you do who actually won. You know, going into this election, I had my preference, but what was more important to me is I thought, I just hope that the person that gets the most votes in each state is the one that get those gets those electors. That's what my hope was. I was hoping that it would be a, a relatively honest election, or at least if there was chicanery, that it wasn't enough to overturn the election. That was always my hope. And in the case of what's going on right now in the USA, I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure about that uh, outcome. But the question is, if you are dealing with this in this topic or another topic, how, how can you deal with it? How can you combat this? And it's a tricky one to do. But w- in this particular case, what I would suggest is shift away to whether it would have changed the outcome of the election. I think it may. Okay. But ask the question is if they care. Do you care if this election had election fraud? Does that bother you? We're in a democracy. Does it bother you if uh, everyone that voted didn't have their vote counted? Or there were fraudulent votes? Does that bother you? Because if a lot of people are being honest, they're going to say, I don't care. I don't care if there was widespread cheating. As long as my guy won, I don't care. And in a way, I can respect those people. I can respect them for being honest. I can't respect (laughs) their opinion on that. I think it's a garbage opinion. I think that we should all want the winner to be the winner and the loser to be the loser. But that that's just me. You know, I think back to Super Bowl 40, which was the worst officiated game, I think, in NFL history between the Steelers and the Seahawks. Now, the problem was is that the press and uh, most of the people, like the majority of people, wanted the Steelers to win. And the Seahawks, they had a lot of fans, but uh, the rest of the country didn't like those fans. They didn't, they didn't like that city. Uh, they were more familiar with the Pittsburgh. They'd been on the TV all the time. The Seahawks played on the West Coast. The East Coast, they never even got to, to see much of it. The problem was this game was blown by the officials. Now, would it have changed the outcome of the game? We'll never know. But it was a blown. (laughs) It was a blown game. And since then, the the referees and the umpires have come out and said, yeah, we totally screwed up that game. We made calls that were totally wrong that had a big impact on the game. They've admitted that since. But most people don't care because their team won, right? And what's really funny is that none of the sports media care either. They should be making a big deal about this, but they don't. They don't because uh, they got to keep the machine going. If you know that uh, the outcome of games is wrong, you're going to stop watching. And in the same way, if you know that your vote doesn't count or might not count, you're going to stop. You're going to stop voting. And I kind of think that's what's happening here. But that's what you need to do. Shift the focus. If someone keeps moving the goals, then you just need to ask them if they care. Do you care if this election were stolen? Because I think a lot of people don't care. I think that they're happy They're happy that their guy won, and that's more important than one person, one vote. I say that's hypocritical. That's my opinion. Do you have any ideas on how to deal with it when someone keeps shifting the goalposts? Let me know in the comments, and have an awesome day. Peace. Thank you.